Hello, welcome to episode 44 of live.withcode.uk. The last couple of weeks we've been going through some skills in um, Python to draw graphics with the Turtle module. Um, and this week we're continuing that series uh, to um, make a program that will draw a scene, any scene that you like, any series of shapes in any color, um, because it loads those shapes from a file. So the file that we've got that we're loading in this example, um, it draws a blue sky and then a green ground and then a grey road, and then um, two white um, shapes for the lines, and then the trunk of the tree, and you get the idea. You can specify a colour as text or as hexadecimal um, codes here, so two characters for the amount of red, where FF is red light fully switched on. Um, oops, you can't run the text file to run the um, thing here. So here I've just changed the colour of the bottom of the tree um, being red light, let's switch it back off to red is off, and then two digits of hex for green and two digits of hex for blue. So that's a bit better. So you can put whatever shapes you like in here as long as you have a colour and then a comma and then a pair of coordinates for x and y and then a pair of coordinates for x and y and as many pairs of x and y coordinates as you want to draw a polygon, a shape with pairs of x and y coordinates. So here I've got a triangle, so three pairs. Um, here I've got a rectangle, but you could have any number of pairs as long as it's an even number. To make it a bit easier to read, mostly I've not put a space between the two pairs, um, but I have put a space between separate pairs. Now, I don't need to do that. Um, it would still work if you had as much or as little white space as you like, um, but I've tried to do it to make it a little bit easier um, to read. OK, so let's get started. Um, uh, we need to import the turtle module so that we have a canvas to draw from. And I'd like to be able to load from any file. So although I've got shapes.txt at the moment, it'd be nice if you could extend the program to make your own file. So let's make a, um, a function that will um, load um, an image from a particular file. And we could do with knowing what the file is called. So the file name is a parameter. OK, so we need to open that file and store the file object so that we can close that file object and release all of the system resources. Between opening and closing it, um, we need to read everything from it. So f.read, and then the return value of that, we should store that. That's gonna be one big long string that stores the whole of the contents of the file. Um, so let's say file contents. But we don't want the whole file all in one string. We want to separate it up into individual lines that we can then draw separately. So once we've read the file, um, let's see, let's put some comments as we go. Read file, um, break up into lines. So we can make a, a list called lines and say the file contents that we've just loaded from line six, um, we're going to split that every time we come across a new line constant. So you can't see the new line constant there, um, but just between the end of line one and the start of line two, there is a new line constant. And um, that's how we'd represent it in Python. Then that list of lines, we can return it back to the part of the program that calls load image um, so that we can use it. All right, so this is the main program. We can say load image and pass in the name of a file to read. We've got shapes.txt. Um, and if we displayed that, we should get a list containing all of the lines separately. Great. Um, I'm going to store that into a list called shapes. I um, should probably comment this. Uh, load um, an image from a text file. Next thing that we want to do is be able to um, draw each of these shapes separately. So if we loop through them or shape an individual shape in our list of shapes, then it would be nice if we could do something like draw shape. Um, and then we could pass in that shape as a parameter. Python doesn't know how to draw shape yet because we've not told it how to. So we'll put it above the main entry point where we're defining all of the procedures and functions. Let's define it. Draw. Oops. Um, shape. It needs to know what it's drawing, so we'll pass that in as a string which is going to contain um, a colour and then a comma and then pairs of coordinates. Right, 
Um, so how do we separate that out? Well, first of all, we should split it up into columns, um, as in this is going to be the first column, that's going to be the second column, that's going to be the third column, etc. So we can process them all separately. How do we do that? Well, we've got a parameter called shape, and that's a string that contains everything. We split that every time we have a comma, then we should get a list so we can access all the columns separately. The colour is the easiest one to do because that's the first column that we've defined in our own file format here. Um, so that's going to be the first item in our list called columns. To get the first item, we're going to use list indexing starting at, at zero. And the rest we'll call coordinates. Um, so everything after index zero, so from index one to the end, we'll put in a new list called coordinates. Then we need to loop through each pair and actually draw. Um, so to do this, we'll make a global variable um, called uh, t. So we'll go inside the turtle module and make a turtle object that we can draw with. Um, right, what do we want to do? Let's say t.go to, it's going to be x and y, but we don't know what x and y are yet. So to get x and y, x is going to be the first one in coordinates, and y is going to be the next one. But then we want x to be the next one, and y to be the one after that, and we want to keep looping through. So to do that, we'll use a, um, a loop. I'm going to use a while loop here. Um, so we'll set i, the index, to be 0. That's going to be the first position in coordinates. And then we'll say while i is less than the length of our list of coordinates, then we can keep doing something and make sure that we increase i by 2 each time because the coordinates come in pairs. So we want to look at that one and that one for x and y. Then we want to increase i by 2 so we can look at that one and that one, etc. until we get to the end. Right, how do we do this? Well, x is going to be at position i, y is going to be at position i plus 1. Um, but bear in mind, we're reading all of this as text, so we're going to need to convert this um, to um, an integer number if we want to use it to move the turtle. So this, I think, will almost work, but it won't actually set the colors or fill it in, um, and it might look a bit dodgy. Let's have a look and see what happens. So I think it does go to the right coordinates, but it goes really slowly. It doesn't set the colors. And after the end of one shape, it draws a line from the end of one shape to the next shape. So we're getting close, but we need to speed it up because otherwise we're going to spend ages just watching. T.speed zero. So that's better. Then we want to make it so it doesn't draw the line from the end of one to the start of the other. So here we'll put if i is equal to zero that means if we're dealing with the first shape then we can lift the pen up so that we teleport um, otherwise um, t dot pen down that's better okay so we're drawing the lines um, now i want to fill in those lines so i guess once we've moved to the right place um, we can say if i is so if we're dealing with the first shape again um then we can begin fill start filling in the shape um and then after the while loop so after we've gone through all the coordinates so lined up with that here we do t dot end fill now i think this is going to fill everything in black all we need to do now is set the color so t dot Color, now spelt the American way because this is built into the Python module, but spelt the British way because I made the variable and I'm British. Um, let's see if this works. Great, okay. Um, so we have a couple of challenges that I'd recommend that you work through. First of all, I should probably comment this here. So draw an individual shape. All right, so challenges. Um, challenge one. Just um, add more coordinates to um, shapes.txt to draw a house in any color that you like. So that would mean that you just go down to shapes.txt and at the end you add a new line in, say what color the house is going to be, and then put your own 
and pairs coordinates in there. So that should be nice and easy. Challenge two, um, create a new file called car.txt or whatever you want really. Um, to draw a car. Um, and then you just need to make sure that you display um, the file that you load. And it would be interesting actually to combine files. So you could draw shapes.txt and then you could also draw another file on top of it. That would also work. Um, and then you could add a parameter um, to draw shape and adjust the size of the picture. This one is a little bit harder. So what does this mean? So draw shape at the moment just has a string, which is a whole line on here. Um, but it'd be really nice if you could specify something like size, uh, which would be like 0 0.5 or 2.0. Um, and then you just multiply all of the coordinates by that scale factor. So you can stretch it or squish it or do whatever you like. OK, um, so those are your challenges. Remember that you can find links to um, interactive online um, activities to help you understand this code in the description of this video or on live.co.uk or compete.co.uk if your teacher signed up to the, uh, the free weekly challenges. Um, all the best. I will see you next week. Bye bye.